Prime Minister has wrapped up his US trip, hitting back at claims of inaction by his government on climate change. While that debate continues, many Australian businesses are taking action to decarbonise. Atlassian's Mike Cannon-Brooks has thrown down the gauntlet, pledging carbon neutrality by 2050. Top 10 companies like Rio Tinto, Westpac and the Commonwealth Bank are also taking up the challenge and increasingly investors are demanding action on a clean, green road to profit. Rachel Papazzoni has the story. Climate change will impact every one of the 7 billion people on the planet. The world won't get to net zero if the financial sector doesn't know how our companies are responding Business has been sent a clear message from the UN Climate Action Summit. It's time to decarbonise. It's very naive to say that business shouldn't have anything to do with it. It's going to affect business at a, at a huge level. And some of our biggest companies are pushing ahead, despite calls from members of the coalition to focus on their operations rather than social issues like the environment. If the government's not going to do anything, business has got to have an, uh, a voice on it, right? It's a, it's a huge issue. Atlassian upped the ante this week, announcing it'll become a net zero carbon emission business by 2050. ANZ committed to 100% renewable energy in its buildings by 2025. CBA and Westpac have previously made similar commitments. And today, Rio Tinto announced it will work with China's largest steel producer to reduce emissions across the value chain. Companies that don't, that don't evolve with a, with a changing world um, are effectively not going to survive. Deloitte renewable energy expert John O'Brien says businesses that aren't working to offset their emissions now could be a threatened species. The world is changing and, that, and there's, that, that's not going to stop. Um, so companies who stand still are going to be in, in, in trouble. While the push for business to decarbonise has been coming from activist groups like Market Forces and the Australasian Centre for Corporate Responsibility, fund managers say increasingly investors are finding action on climate is profitable. We're certainly finding some of our clients that are increasingly focused on climate risks in their portfolio and they believe careful analysis of that will actually help them improve investment returns in their core investment strategies. Alliance Bernstein manages 560 billion US dollars in assets globally. Last year, its Australian arm set up a fund that is entirely carbon neutral. As of two years ago, a Harvard Business Review found 1,400 companies around the world make their investment decisions based on the cost of offsetting carbon. And it's a growing trend. Companies that aren't taking those actions are more risky and therefore ultimately less attractive investments. The push for climate action is seeing the value of companies at the forefront of green technology rise. Six years ago, 93 ASX-listed companies in the renewable energy and storage space were worth a combined $8.5 billion. By last year, that figure jumped to almost $51 billion. And clean tech stocks have outperformed the broader ASX 200 by more than 70% in the last five years. Business investment advisor Matt Drum helps businesses offset their emissions. He says going green isn't just a smart move to attract investment, it's also about gaining a competitive edge. There's definitely a reputational risk associated with being seen as not interested, inactive, uh, behind the eight ball. A move away from LPG as a fuel source was a significant cost benefit for one of his clients. And they've moved to almost a carbon neutral fuel source a biomass boiler, and they're saving 60 to 70 per cent of their input costs for thermal heat. As the UN calls for the Paris emission reduction targets to be doubled, they're the kind of changes experts say businesses have to make to secure a greener future. I worry for the ones that are not moving. The last two years has accelerated ridiculously fast and it's not going to slow down.